Today I'm jumping on board British Airways Boeing 777 in their premium economy product. I'll also give you an update on the rollout of their new club suites and if you're interested in the club suites I've also got a review on the channel so check it out. Today we're flying to Newark in New Jersey, United States of America and our journey begins at London Heathrow's Terminal 5. Check-in was smooth but our flight was delayed to two and a half hours unfortunately. We then had to take one of these buses to our aircraft and then climb up these steps. Unfortunately the special assistance at London Heathrow is very poor. They left us at the gate and we had to make our own way to the aircraft, climb up the steps and board. As mentioned we are in premium economy which is the next cabin along but here's a glimpse at the club suite. Our seats are 20A and 20B for my parents and I'm behind them in 21A. Boarding was pleasant and enjoyable with some nice music being played in the background and some nice relaxing mood lighting. The seat is 18 and a half inches wide and comes with a seat pitch of 38 inches. My seat 21A was right over the wing and let's do a quick seat tour. At your seat you'll find a pillow and a blanket and in between the two seats is an armrest where your tray table will be found, there's a cocktail table and power outlets for you to share. I wasn't able to adjust the sides of the headrest as they were stuck in this position but I was able to push the headrest up or down. There is a footrest at the base of the seat in front of you which I don't find very useful as it gets in the way of stretching your legs. Just above the footrest is your seat pocket which contains the safety card and a plastic pack which contains your headphones and a kit bag which we'll look at later. I found the blanket to be soft, cosy and very comfortable. Just above the seat pocket you have some charging ports and your in-flight entertainment screen which we'll look at later. And just above you have your reading lights but no individual air vents. The headphone jack and the button to recline your seat along with the control panel which you can pull out to control the in-flight entertainment screen, call for help or put the light on is found on the inside of your seat. It almost feels like we're in business class as the cabin crew hand out a welcome drink of Prosecco or water and a menu. As usual I've pre-ordered a vegan vegetarian meal which we'll look at later. This completes our boarding process, the safety demonstrations being played and it's almost time for takeoff. After takeoff, there was another nice touch which also resembled business class where the crew handed out a hot towel. Now to tackle one of your questions which we've received on more than one occasion on this channel. The question is if you are flying British Airways business class how can you guarantee yourself the new suite? The short answer is you can't guarantee yourself the suite as airlines reserve the right to change aircrafts but one of our viewers has given a helpful suggestion and that is to jump onto Google Flights, put in the destination you're traveling to and from, and the dates, and when you look at the results, if you'll find your British Airways flights, click on the detail, it will then indicate whether you have an individual suite or you have a live flat bed, which is the old type of bed. So as long as everything remains the same, when you've done your Google search results and the airline hasn't changed the type of aircraft or the cabin, then you should receive that product. If you don't have access to Google, you can also call the airline direct and they can also help you. The in-flight entertainment screen is very easy to use through simple menu choices. The screen size is 12 inches, which is 2 inches bigger than economy class. In my opinion, the screen could do with an upgrade. The design is old and the quality is poor. 
Being 99% blind, I have to look at the screen with my nose almost touching the screen where the quality diminishes. If you sit further back, the quality is okay. You can also use your screen to play games and also look at the interactive map with different camera angles. The tray table simply comes out from the armrest which is in between the two seats. Simply lift up the flap and look at the back for a little hook which you use to pull the tray table out and then you can open it and slide it back and forward. If you remember during the seat tour we had a plastic bag which had headphones and a kit bag in the seat pocket in front. So let's have a quick look at the headphones. I found the headphones to be soft, clean and comfortable. I also found the qualities to be quite good. In the kit bag we had a number of items and I thought it was a nice touch to have a kit bag in premium economy. The contents included eye shades, socks, lip balm, toothbrush and a small toothpaste and of course the kit bag itself. I recently flew EVA Air which is a fantastic airline in their premium economy product and they also provided a kit bag. It's now time for dinner so let's check it out. So I was given a salad, dessert and don't forget this is a vegan meal which has tofu in some tomato sauce with some rice and of course a bread bun. I really like that the airline provides metal cutlery which makes eating a lot easier. So the food is a little bit better than my last flight uh, when I was in Club World Suite uh, but still room for improvement in British Airways. Um, the main course rice is a bit burnt uh, but the tofu is quite nice. Salad, a little bit of uh, one piece of tomato, a bit of cucumber but the rest was just salad um, so I didn't really eat that. Let's hope the dessert is better. The dessert was quite nice, but um, a couple of bites is enough. <laughs> I wasn't actually asked if I wanted a drink with my meal, so I did press the call button, but nobody actually answered for about one hour. So in the meantime, I settled for the water that came with the meal. After the meal service, I visited the lavatory, which was quite clean, but there wasn't too many amenities or indeed toilet roll. When I returned to my seat, the crew had handed out vanilla ice cream, which is a nice touch, but there wasn't anything available for anyone who has dietary requirements. I then slept for a couple of hours, and just before landing, the crew also handed out a snack and came around with drinks. The snack was a wrap, which was delicious, and came with some cashew nuts and biscuit. All British Airways flights will arrive and depart from Terminal B at Newark International Airport, EWR. An announcement was made by the cabin crew to say that you'll need to collect your luggage from the carousel if you are connecting onto another flight and check in again. They also mentioned that if you are connecting onto another flight and require to change terminal, you need to allow up to one and a half hours. I've noticed on some recent long haul flights with British Airways that they are always short on cabin crew, which means that the service is not always up to par. However, I must say that most of the flights I've had are quite enjoyable and the cabin crew have always been fantastic. I would like to see an improvement on the food front as well as the quality of the IFE. However, I think the content in the IFE is good and I would also say the seat is comfortable with a nice comfortable blanket and I like that the fact that you get a kit bag as well. We had used Avios to book this flight, however the cash equivalent was just over £900 and I think for a 7-7.5 to seven and a half hour long haul flight is quite good value. I hope you enjoyed this review and if you did please click the thumbs up as it really helps me in the channel and if you like videos like this and as well as hotels please click that subscribe button for more videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.